Here we have the hub of activity where the task setters are busy deciding on the task that we're going to do today. Now let's spy on them. They've set the task, there's a ridge run uh, out to the east, then back west again, and then we're heading south in a similar area to yesterday. Uh, I'll try and show that on the computer screen, but I'm not showing it on the map because uh, I'm in a rush now to get ready and to take off. Can I still go? maintain the height for the start. The start gate is out in the valley so we have to go out into the valley, four kilometres out into the valley directly over the town of Azure is the start gate we have to go into it and back out of it again. So it's what's called an exit start because we have to exit the start gate. And then from there we'll be going in that direction, that direction all the way down the ridge to the east. That will be the uh, first turn point down there. So let's see if I can maintain this height. Ready for the start in 20 minutes time. Eight minutes to go. It's getting crowded at cloud base again. I do it always is. Looking forward to getting on the route, getting on with the task. Two minutes to go, and I'm three kilometres out of the start, so I'm setting off with everybody else that way. That's the direction of the start. I've got full VG on. Headed for the optimised line of the start cylinder. Which means the shortest distance to hit it and then go to the next turn point. Currently at 8,400 feet. The wind is showing westerly at 5 mile an hour. And I can see a paraglider thermal in ahead, which is brilliant news. Dave Matthews just there. He's one of the top British pilots. Great person to follow. So I'm currently in the lead gaggle, which is dead easy to be in at the start. But if you can be in the lead gaggle at the end, that's the trick. One point two kilometers from the start now. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? Isn't this 
in this absolutely. Well, I'm flying. I'm flying like a bird. Gears open. Still 700 meters away. So I didn't set off at exactly the best time. However, I have set off early enough. I have set off early enough for it to be fairly near the front, which is good. It's like the leaders are taking the straightest line, which is also the scariest. Because it means you've got to cross the gap without having gone back to the ridge first to top up. I'm in the start cylinder. I'm in the start cylinder now. I just have to exit it. And I've started. That's it, across the start cylinder, got exited. I've started heading towards the first turn point. Down to the east along that ridge over there. Still gliding towards the gap. You can probably see the gap down there. We always need to be high to cross that. I'm currently over 7,000 feet. And I'm just going to go for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. so far currently in the lead gaggle along with Grant and Dave Matthews there's the three of us they're just above me doing a lot of not turning just flying along the ridge because it's working well all the way along just turning occasionally in the strong bits to top up strong bit just led by a bird there oh yes woohoo oh yes this is wonderful absolutely wonderful Oh, wonderful flying! Could we get into cloud base here? Because the turn point's about 7k away. towards the first turn point that way four kilometers so we have to get there and back
24 kilometers to the next turn point, which is right down the end of the ridge over the gap again. She's got to get all the way back again now. So ridge run all the way back along. I've had fun getting out here, I'm going to have fun getting back. <laughs> Somehow I'm still keeping up with the leaders. Just about. Not quite, but not far off. There's Grant crossing up. Who's the UK number one? And Dave Matthews, they're both ahead of it. We're not far. We're heading back along the ridge now. Starting to cross the gap. From 8,700 feet. I'm looking to see what line they both take and I'm going to take a similar line Try and stay with them They're both itching to win this and either one of them could So Neither of them's going to do anything really stupid So they're both good people to follow Grant looks like he's taking the shorter route. Dave looks like he's taking the more sensible route. Okay, 34 kilometers to go. I lost the lead gang a little bit. However, I now need a 40 to run to go. So I'm thinking I just need one more thermal and I'm gonna give it a go. Well, the trouble is, I can't see anybody to pick pop. They won't disappear. So I lost some time there. See if I can gain it again. Going that way. So I'm 19 kilometers out from goal. I'm in what I hope will be my final thermal. Currently need 12.9 to 1. I think I might go on 11 to 1. It's slowing up a bit as it's thermal. Going up that. Okay, stopping at 12 to 1. Gonna have to go for it and up for another one or a really good glide. Twelve point one to one. Nineteen point eight kilometers to go. That direction. We're about to see what happens. Oh, fuck that. I didn't realise. I've actually got a turn point and then another goal. Now the turn point. Now turn into the goal. I didn't realise that, I messed that up a bit. 11.7 required, that's the glide angle. See what happens. So I want a very squeaky final glide here, 10.5 required. Down to 4,000 feet.
down the hook. I'm abandoning that one in many worse. 10.7 if I am. Sugar lumps, I might have just cut that up by stopping that. Somebody's climbing ahead, that's a good sign. If I can get there and get into that, I'll make it. 9.9 required now. I've got a hill to get over though. Safely. Lots of people here at the same time. I wonder if I can 
double back up again from here. Get a little save above goal. <laughs> together and I was just in that squadron right I've got my harness unzipped VB is at a quarter all set for landing it's a bit of breeze Ooh. it's probably gonna be a bit choppy as I come down or possibly I'm hoping that there's just going to be a nice strong breeze down there when I get down there. That makes the landing a lot easier. And a non-turbulent one, that'll be great. But you saw that those thermals kicking off that landing field and I went back up again. So that could make it a choppy landing. We're about to find out. leg of my approach. Oh, somebody's coming in underneath me. He's got, he's got right to way over me. Quite high actually. And I'm watching that glider land, see how he does. It's looking like there's not a lot of wind down there from the way he landed it. Oh hey, he knows the inner bit. So it might not be an easy landing this. Well, let's find out, shall we? Here we go. Here we go. There's quite a bit of breeze here. I've landed a long way back. That way I don't interfere with the other people landing. Having said that, I'm drifting now. Legs out, into the upright position. Someone's put a road sign in my way. Need lots of speed for this. That was quite choppy. Right at the last minute, it was all over the place. Got down a bit better than some of the others that came down there. Mr. Black, look, hey! Oh. In goal. Uh, coulda, shoulda, woulda done better. Uh, yeah, baby. Um, got dropped by that lead gaggle when I. Uh, didn't see them disappear from the thermal I was in. So that was a bit of a mistake. And that's where Dave, and it wasn't Grant, I thought it was Grant, but it was actually Geralt who uh, I was with there and got the jump on me. Uh, I think I came in the top 10. Uh, really good fun climbing out afterwards. Really enjoyed that. Uh, and I'm looking forward to the final day tomorrow of the world, of the world. It might as well be the world because it's the most important competition in the world, the British National Hang Gliding Championships 2019. See you tomorrow.